John Baker here from Rotac Repair. This is a uh, 582 gray head that I'm doing an inspection on because it has a performance issue and of course because it was pretty old as well. Now the space in here you shouldn't have that much room in there and there obviously you can see the loose bits that are inside probably the cage out of the uh, bearing and the whole of these bearings are all moved towards the back and this seal is actually from the outside of the engine I can see the seal was about halfway out. So uh, just to see how bad this is, watch, I'll just lift the other end of the crank up. So I'm not sure what's left into those bearings, but uh, anyway, I thought you'd like to see that. Thanks for watching. Bye now. John Baker here from Rotac Repair. I just removed the crankshaft uh, out of the 582 gray head that had the seal pushed half out of the back of the case. And now let's just have a look and see what is behind the seal. A lot of uh, a lot of debris in there and then here's the cage wow look at that this bearing has spun on the crankshaft this should be uh, this is a heat on press off one so of course it it's ruined it now here's our oil seal and wow look at this it spun the bearing right on the crankshaft so no wonder this had a performance issue because every time the bearing would lock up it would try and stop the engine or succeed at stopping the engine and uh, it was going to be a big issue so uh, that's the uh, probably the worst uh, pto bearings uh, as far as i've seen in quite a long time uh, this is uh, not a result of anything crummy about being uh, inferior parts with the rotax engine or anything like that this is just from plain ordinary having corrosion inside the engine it sat for a long time uh, and then it was run and that corrosion then circulates through the engine and just chews everything all up it's just like a grinding compound in there uh, this engine has on my sheet here 177 hours on it which is not very many the reason that the mag end looks so normal is because the atmospheric air did not flow through there when the engine was stopped the pto end however the atmospheric air flowed through the exhaust or in and out through the carburetor and it allowed the moisture and humidity from the atmospheric air to create the rust inside of that half of the engine and then when it started again it ran for two or three maybe four hours and by then all the rust was loose and ground all the bearings up and that was when the engine stopped when he was flying it.